Don't miss an episode of the new series, Work the World, on WOW Presents Plus. It's only $3.99. Oh, we're gonna turn the party, Mama. Look at you. Want to see some? Sh I bet you if we walk in front of this window, they'll be throngs. Oh, look, of they're not responding. <laughs> She's not responding hey, to the beat. Uh, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> they like the dab. They like the dab. The kids today, they like the dab. So where are we headed right now? Well, Bob, <laughs> we're going to get our uh, full STI panel. And I couldn't be more thrilled. The great thing about the panel is people get to see how much of a rock star our editors are. Yes. Because when yes. you see us unedited, yeah. you're like... People always <laughs> want more and more and more, but when, when they realize what they're in for, when they get it unedited, they prefer less, yeah. less, less. We are yeah. giving you the, un, the unedited, unfacetuned photo. Yeah. And as somebody who has to f*** us, you're like, that's not what I signed it's up for. It's almost like the uh, performance version of catfishing. Completely. Do you know what I mean? Completely. Yeah. What are you going to wear for the 100th episode? I don't know. Oh. I think, I mean, it'd be great if we could do something cool, like in front of a, a Watch What Happens Live scenario, where it's a green screen on a stage. Oh my, wait, wait, wait. I think I'm going to go in the middle of Hollywood Boulevard in an intersection, butt naked, and bend over and show the whole world my ass. Again. Again. Again, again. Again, again. Okay, every year they tell me, don't yell into the microphone and don't touch the microphone. I have to do both. So. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Guys, what is this, the fourth year in a row of this panel, maybe third? Maybe fifth. And it just keeps getting earlier and at weirder times. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. They're trying to um, strain the limits of the enthusiasm of the fandom, but you guys are here prompt and um, well, punctual, and I'm curious to why that is. Well, they're putting yeah. us they're putting us at the weird slots because they're like, well, if they can have people come at 11, let's see if they can have people come at 10, and then noon. I bet you next year, 4 a.m. <laughs> in the parking lot of a Sonic. That would be great. Actually, you know what's funny? Um, I was reminiscing back to the first RuPaul's Drag Con. And Ginger and I, my best friend Ginger and I, we um, <laughs> we pulled the ultimate con for some time. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we we pulled the ultimate con. We charged fifty dollars a head for a smoking version I of Untucked outside about that. in the um the outside the convention center in the parking lot, and I think I made two thousand dollars in cash. <laughs> totally not legal or kosher, but hey, listen, that's drag. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, I think there's some people in the hallway who can't get in. Hi. Hello. These people are sitting. You're not, so. <laughs> That's what people are like, your line was long. I'm like, those people got here early. Yeah. Your ass could get up too. <laughs> we were talking to Hot Chocolate today from Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. A drag queen, yes. And she did a show last night at a club and drove straight here in drag and she's here today right now. Yeah. I guess we have talking points. Oh, we do. I have an arm. By the way, let's hold, look at her. Yeah. Look at our interpretations of a clutch bag today, by the way. Isn't that great? But get a clutch, because it clutch. No, OK, yeah. Sure. Well, um, let's see. This is the Declaration of Independence. Oh, got to get my badge. Queen. Badge. Well, wait, 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 of, wait. They have a lot of straight people who work here in security, and they're like, I don't care who you are, sir. Like, yeah. Yeah. 
Is this the first time we've done this that, uh, after your uh, crown? Uh, well, no, there's we been know. 14 we seasons since I won Drag I Race already, say. so. She won Drag Race. I sure did. And if we can all take Alaska out at the knees, so can you. <laughs> I was worried that it was going to sort of shift the dynamic because I kind of always bonded with you as a loser, but now that I you're a winner, I feel twice, so ill. Though. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So if you think of the math, losing twice, winning once, oh, you broke a one-time loser. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so. Great, I love that. Besides, you're athletic. Yes, I am. <laughs> so, yes, I am. we have a panel here. It's a panel about nothing, and yet it's about everything. Yeah. Do you guys eat a lot of Gay bananas? Gay people can be oh. sold into anything if you keep it vague. Yeah. She said bag. 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 Keep it bag. Bag. She says um, bagel. Did you say bagel? Bagel. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm from Wisconsin, otherwise I say bagel. It's too much. <laughs> and I have a Jewish boyfriend, so that word comes up a lot. Mm. <laughs> and not in the ways you think. <laughs> wow, you guys look awesome. Is anybody, I mean, how many of you are in drag today? <laughs> Who got up the earliest? My ass got up at seven. 430? You're not even in drag, Carol. You're not even in drag. 4.30? Wait a minute, where did you come from? Would you have to do your kundalini meditation or something? Oh, you have curly hair. She was like, Mama, I have curly hair. Explain. What does that mean? She, oh, she has to do a full twist set. She has to do treatments. Oh, Listen, hot oil. I get it. Right if home. I took this wig off, it's just... <laughs> bald, Stabs. bald, but you know... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, by the way, I did, a re I did an interview recently with The Observer for the Moving Parts documentary, and they said that I was an unprepossessing, balding man from Minnesota. Oh, they sure did. They sure did. I was like, oh, way to smack you with the hard hand of reality. Jesus Christ. Un unprepossessing, which I looked it up, means that, like, visually, you aren't bringing anything to the table. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's, like, a euphemism for ugly. <laughs> But you know what, though, on Thursday when I filmed my comedy special, Margaret Cho was there and she told me I was handsome. Oh. But she likes girls and boys, so she maybe did. she was like, you know, I don't know who she was talking She's about confused, here. confused, yeah. Yeah. She's confused. Should we go through some questions? I believe that we should. Coming up on the 100th episode, did you ever think it would get this far? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, you know, RuPaul always talks about waiting for your success. And for okay. you, I mean, it didn't come till. 40? What, 40, 42? Yeah. yeah. I think that what Seinfeld was on the air for only like 36 episodes and um, Friends had like maybe 12. Yeah. So, yeah, Game of Thrones, really, it was just a pilot. Yeah, we're really cranking here. I think it's uh, something special. I don't know if it makes me a psychopath, but every week when it comes out, because I'm subscribed to the WoW Presents Network. I love watching the show. The WoW Plus. Oh, Mama, they don't give us free. We, no, they we pay three ninety nine. Three ninety nine, like everybody else. Absolutely. <laughs> Just to watch myself. <laughs> but you know, I mean, sometimes I'm in a bowl cut and a blue lip, and I'm like, no, you know. <laughs> no. I know that was so funny. It's no. you know, there are choices one can make in the moment that later on prove to be very regretful. Um, I am a fan of the show. I can't wait to watch it. I uh, watch the like, first thing is as soon as it comes out, and I like because we don't know what it is. And we filmed you know it I mean? so long ago, and it's all improv, so we have, I mean, no for idea. me, mentally, screen wipe. Yeah, yeah. I have no, no idea. idea what we talked about, what we wore. No. So watching it for us, especially, I mean, is Ron, the, the editor Ron, oh my God, is he here? Oh yeah. my God! <laughs> They're both here. Oh my God. Hey, Jeff! They're both Jeff here. Right there. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here Get now. Get up here, you sorry sack of shit. You guys, this is Ron and Jeff. I mean, as, as you guys are finding out, without them, we are not funny at all. <laughs> That's the thing that I, I would, did you ever think it would get this far? I don't ever, I never thought it would get this far without people catching on to the fact that uh, they're the real geniuses here. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, in this style, the style that you guys do is so iconic that even, you know, it even goes on to be, you know, replicated by other shows. <laughs> you know, and none of us notice. Wait, are you talking about CSI Miami? Yes, exactly. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, how have you guys, how have you changed? <laughs> well, we've been here since, when did you come on, Jeff? Like, uh, 2017. Does everybody yeah. here know you from your project that everybody knows oh you from? Oh my God. <laughs> do you want to tell them? 
Um, I ha used to have a, well, I guess I still do a YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, under the name of Sienna. This is Jeffrey Animal. Star. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I dubbed over uh, old episodes of Gem and the Holograms. Do you guys yeah. remember Jizz? Isn't it called Jizz? Jizz. Jizz. Yeah. Yes. Jizz. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting and filthy and hilarious. And it's probably not unlike dubbing us or like editing us. Can I ask you guys a question? What do you think, what is uh, week to week the, the biggest challenge you face as the editors of the show? Yeah, doesn't it take forever to do one episode? Honestly, the thing that takes the longest is trying to find images. <laughs> like trying to find, I need an overhead shot of a classroom so I can see Katya's bald head. <laughs> so I had to like Photoshop the whole thing together to yeah. create that moment. Incredible. The attention to detail is just stunning and dazzling. The colonial woman who called you ma'am. I know. <laughs> Still the absolute most shameful moment of my life. Now sort of like I guess psychologically making up for it. We usually um, tape about four episodes a day, but we've discovered that that fourth one is really like pushing it in terms of energy. Energy. Wise. Energy. Yeah, it's also, it's also hot. We are, if anybody wants to send us an air conditioner. Or... Oh girl. You know what, I actually, I think I'm gonna do like, um, you know how the venture capitalists and like, um, uh, like who's that guy, Elon Musk? I'm, I'm going to go like, uh, approach him and see if he can build a sequin cat suit that has internal temperature control. That's so, like, kind of like Shangela and All Stars were inflated. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Except it'll be like, um, just really cool. Cold air. Yeah. You don't have Pretty to wear cool. a blue lip. You have a blue lip. Exactly. Yeah. Love that. What are your thoughts on season 11? Who's team on your own? People keep asking this. And I know there's a lot of talented queens and they've all done great, but if you look at who, like, track record, Tammy, Tammy Brown. Yeah. I think when she found that dead body, it was a game changer. <laughs> How have you changed, Tracy? Well, I've had some style journeys. Yes, you have. <laughs> yes, you have. I've explored many different weights. <laughs> Do you know what it's like to have to sit next to somebody who is ballerina thin with blue white teeth? <laughs> Listen though, okay, I gotta share with you guys something. So. I will never forget the day you said, I can't believe you didn't tell me I got fat. <laughs> I didn't know! I didn't know! As if you do not work in a profession where you have to look in the mirror. I know! Every single day for my, many minutes in a row. But you guys, when you gain weight, you are like the last person to know. Like, I remember thinking, like, I remember putting on my canvas steel bone corset and being like, it's shrunk. Like, <laughs> Yeah, oh my God. But I also, like, we watched the first few episodes and I'm like, my relationship with Blush has uh, yeah. refined. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. crazy. Oh my and God. And you know what? Can we someday do a blue screen episode so we can wear green once? <laughs> oh my God, I love that. Because you can't wear green and you can't wear anything sequin that reflects green or you look invisible. Right. The and then sometimes we exploit Hollywood. that and we have floating heads. There you go. Yeah. I like the floating heads episodes, but those morph suits were it's all hot to me. I'm always sweating. It's, drag is disgusting and nasty and rotted and gutted. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are the top uh, catchphrases people shout at you the most? Oh, well, f my with the, the rape. rape. Um, oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I have a story. So, this is not, I have to, uh, the setup is a little embarrassing. So, sometimes I, I go into webcam rooms. Um, <laughs> You just enter to, rooms where there's browse, webcams mounted on the browse. walls, yeah. Just to browse, I go on Chatterbait. It's um, basically like... In a Best Buy. In the, <laughs> at the library. <laughs> um, it's like a website where you can watch people... Mas Listen, okay, it's... it's Anyways, I was watching this young man pleasure himself, um, and it's all like anonymous. They don't know who I am, obviously. And um, he said... They don't know with a rake. Yeah. 
And I was like, Bruh. And and I, and I, yeah. And I was like, what the f is going on? I thought I was like, I looked, you know, it's like covered up the thing on my uh, computer. It was, it was the FBI agent watching. Yes. You. Yes. But it turned out that um, uh, somebody had typed in, um, you know, uh, but but spelled it exactly like our the title Which of our I'm show. Not even sure he doesn't even know how to do it. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, they, this whole thing happened. I was like, freaked me the f out, and never been on since. So. <laughs> People oh, love Lord. to say, um, capping, yeah. capping, or energy. Energy, yeah. Um, uh, what else? Oh, I'm a, uh, I'm a, what is, I'm a sexy mountain biking vampire, vampire witch from the future. future. Yes. Um, yeah. There was, a, um, there was a person oh, Dr. who... Dr. Bitchcraft. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a person, I believe it was, um, oh, it was in Manchester, England, and I was walking through, like, the town square shopping center area, and, uh... 1881. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shopping for goods and sundries at the haberdashery. And, um, no, and a girl saw me from inside a store and she uh, did like, <gasps> she screamed, uh, ran out, charged me, charged me, grabbed onto my shoulders and screamed into my face at like the loudest volume of my pussy with a rake mom. Yeah. And I had to say, uh, please stop shouting, I'm embarrassed. And um, it, was, it was a lot. Is yeah, that? it's a lot. Trixie's new cosmetics line. What, what, <gasps> Congratulations! Actually, I thought of something, Trixie. I'm, I also have a palette reveal, but it's just those um, those wooden um, slatted <laughs> things that. You know what I mean? My palette's gonna drop literally from the loading dock. Yes, I am a cosmetics mogul now. So if anybody would like Incredible. to cancel me, I am available. <laughs> Expo Bye, Trixie. Yeah, expose oh my me, mom. God. It's over, sister. Ex yeah. Expose my whole dad. Yeah. I am going to make a two hour and 45 minute YouTube video mm -hmm. that details at length, but not specifically, all of the things that uh, I yes. find uh, yes. disturbing about you and your uh, business practices. Yes. I'm going to make a video that says, like, this week has been so many highs and oh, so oh. many lows. <laughs> this is a video I never thought in a million years I would be making. This person was family to me. This is someone I took under my wing. And I am completely blindsided. Okay. But basically, I feel like, well, that's part of why I made the makeup is because so many industries, so many makeup industries right now are like, Spheres, yes, and it was like, can we remember that the, the makeup is supposed to be something you play with? Can it be a pro formula, but all in like toy packaging? Because that's what drag queens are. Yeah. Katya's Help Me I'm Dying tour. Oh, yeah. How was that experience? How has that experience been? Any crazy stories? <laughs> I have some, uh, not so much crazy, but sexual ones. Oh, yeah. um, is it, help me, I'm dying. Is it difficult carrying, you know, all the fabrics and the dyes and... <laughs> See, this would be where, this would be where Ron and Jeff would like rewind and like, you know, make that disappear. <laughs> Any crazy stories? I'm crazy. I'm dying cotton fabric all night. That's all that. Um, yeah, so, okay, there was, uh, we did a show in Vancouver, and I brought a man on stage and gave him a lap dance, and I noticed that he was very attractive. So during the meet and greet, I said, hi, I would love to have sex with you if you're interested. And um, usually when I'm that direct, people think I'm, it's a joke. Um, so I just went on social media to reinforce it uh, through the DMs. <laughs> and then um, he came to the next show, and sure enough, we had sex that night. And this happened three more times, just the way that, just like that. The next day, it wasn't that night, it was like a lead up. It was very nice. Well, we need to get back to like direct, directness is okay. I love it, yeah. Because it's in direct line with consent. Someone says yes yeah. or no. Yeah, and I love it, like if they have a firm, like declarative. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of you guys are like, I don't give consent, just take me. <laughs> But it is weird in drag, too, because people think you're kidding. Well, yes, and also I think people are interested in the chase and the, you know, playing um, all the flirting, I guess. I don't have time to flirt. 
I'm 37. I don't have time. The clock is ticking. The clock is ticking, Mama. Yeah. I need to have sex in 20 minutes, and it has to happen in, you know, tonight. Questions from the audience. Oh, gosh. Do you guys have anything you want to... I mean, you guys, I can't stress yeah. this enough. They are the superstars of the show. Yeah. Like... If they had meet and greets at DragCon, would you guys go? Yeah. Well, for the record, I'd still have sex with you both. And it's okay, okay. Yeah. to say that. <laughs> On camera in this industry. Okay. Reminder to thank the editors. Okay, great. <laughs> we get it. Um, um, oh, I, questions from the audience? Yeah, we would love to field some questions. However, I must insist that the reading of erotic fan fiction is strictly prohibited. Thank you. Before we do questions, we could do an um, intro. You want to do an intro? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wearing Dobby's pillowcase, but I still can't sleep at night. Trixie Mattel. <laughs> and I'm the CVS receipt that's longer than the list of your mom's ex-boyfriends. Katya. <laughs> And welcome to uh, the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. Okay. It is cool, though. So I guess uh, if, you, do they, if they have questions, do they line up? Is that the storyline? Okay, so line oh, up. Yeah. And, uh, but it is cool. I got to tell you guys, people who we think are cool, real celebrities, message oh us God. all the time and are like, we love your YouTube show. Dan Levy messaged me when yeah. he was like, oh my God, on Schitt's Creek, we always yeah. watch your show between takes or whatever. Yeah. That's it's really crazy. cool. It's very cool. Tatiana, Tatiana Maslany. Yeah. Yes. Orphan Black. Incredible actress. Incredible actress. Um, who else? Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She yeah. loves it. So, my name is Mali. My question oh, is for Katya. I love you both, but the question is for Katya. So, sorry. You can take a break. Sorry, Mom. Take, a okay. So, Katya, when you become a professional science, what, you know, like a medium? Oh, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, yeah. So, what is the first thing that you are going to ask your dead dad? Oh, great question. I'd probably just ask him to say, is this a skin tag or a <laughs> Are you going to lick it? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Around that's, it? That's a bridge too far. But thank you also, for your question. dad's alive. I love so you. Thank you, you like, so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Your dad's alive, so wouldn't you be like, did you die? Yeah. <laughs> did, did I you miss tell something? Me? <laughs> yeah, hi. Hi, my name's Thunby, and I was just hi. wondering, if you could be any kind of soup, what would you be and why? <laughs> oh, there's... Baby, it's butternut squash all day long for me. Yeah. Love butternut that for squash. you. Yeah. Butternut squash. Yeah. Uh, butternut squash. What, what, what? If you know me, you know I'll drink anything as long as it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. What's y'all's favorite episode? Hello. And also, does anybody have a nail file? <laughs> Is that a thing? I don't have a nail file because I came prepared, but um. Um, <laughs> I gotta say, these last two weeks about shame. Shame has been oh really fun. My, yeah. The story about your that colonial woman I'm, thinking you're a woman. That's a real haunting <laughs> tale. It was a really uh, like I remember like it was yesterday. And also memorable like uh, memorable mention uh, space. Oh my god. Oh sure. Yeah. Space is crazy. I uh, yeah. I really like these uh, uh, last few episodes. Shame hey, really I think this topic. season is the best ones, the season four ones. Yeah. They are so nuts. Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Danny, and Hi, Danny. Uh, Trixie, love your makeup. I'm wearing it right now, Thank and it's you. so oh, beautiful. Makeup mogul. Um, also wearing a contact dress for both of you. Oh my you both God. are on it. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. Cute. Um, that's and a new, I wanted that's to a new one for me. Yeah. <laughs> And I wanted to know if uh, either of you guys would do a contact viewing party because you talked about a few a while I, ago, I, but we never saw anything. I would rather <laughs> have a great night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer to just have us reenact the whole thing. Well, if you um, listen to Whimsically Volatile, a very popular yeah. podcast. <laughs> We actually, I did watch it, and now, I mean, listen, Jodie Foster, liked it. Yeah. she turned that party. She, she is so good it. in that movie. Oh, my she God. It. But I loved it. Go. It was great. Yeah. I don't think Thank we you. needed to talk about it as long as we did, but I think it was good. 
Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you so much. Hi, Katya. You're just fine. Um, well, no whisper. <laughs> uh, sorry, Tracy. Um, Katya. <laughs> Respect your queen, madam. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Katya, Mary kill. Oh, I right? love that. <laughs> okay. Um, it, but kill them all first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jodie Foster. Okay. All oh, right. Julia Roberts. Okay. And Trixie Mattel. <laughs> you can kill me. It's fine. Just kill me. I am the only I, man, though. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to f her. I know. Terrible. And I, I would, I'd have to kill Julia, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry. Would you gag if Julia stood up over there and was like... <laughs> I thought yes, we were cool, man. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. She's at my booth if anybody's interested. To have a, a fan gave me a wonderful... Um, uh, tapestry. Tapest it's like a scarf. It's a giant um, tapestry that has a, the face of Julia Roberts on it. And it looks like she's sad. Um, <laughs> and it's, that's very fun. Hi, I'm Audrey. Hi, Audrey. What oh are you going to do... So Thank you. What are you going to do when you run out of topics to talk about? Mama. Dude, that's where we're at, this, girl. That, that, like, <laughs> Well, usually we're getting ready, and Pete, who films all the content. Pete, are you here? Pete? Pete? He's here somewhere, yeah. Yes, he, he films is. all of it. I mean, and uh, usually we're talking about, I'm like, why don't we talk about the doctor? Like, you already did it. Like, what is, uh, yeah, we already yeah. did it. Like, we've reached the point now. <laughs> it's going to get, like, mortgage-backed securities. Soon, yeah. So. <laughs> Re derivatives. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be bad. Look what if up. episode 100 is just about, like, middle parts? Would you guys leave? Brill cream. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Audrey. Thank you so much. Oh, and have a lovely good. day. She looks really good. Oh, I love and, the shirt. Ah, uh, thank you. I'm wearing merch. Lovely I'm wearing so merch. cute. Lovely. That's not being sold here. So yeah. I know. Oh. This is OG. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's vintage. It's vintage Trixie and Katya. I know these 15 year olds are like, drag started this year though. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm I'm part of the underrepresented 50-something gay male group. Oh, tell it on the map. There's your representation right there. Me and you, baby. I'll see you at the diner. Mm -hmm. So I was at Burlaska, and a, and a child went up and asked, asked Alaska for a hug, and then a young lady went up and asked Corey for a hug, and, and I, know that you're, I know that you're not into hugging. Or, or having your hair touched, disorder. if there's anything I've learned. So, Are you guys, can out? I have a hug? <laughs> not, not you, yeah. them. Oh, yeah, come get the hug. <laughs> yes. yes. Is he hugging them? I don't know. Are you hugging them? Oh, you're hugging them. Yeah, they're hugging them. Oh. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. Thank you. I love that. That is so cute. I <laughs> yes. See, that is the kind of love and appreciation for the editors. They deserve that, man. Yeah. They also deserve a little bit more money, but yeah. We'll, yeah. yeah, if you want to give him any cash, that's also an option. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Adam. Um, Hi. <laughs> Hello. Good. That was good. Um, private jet. Crash land. Three other drag queens are with you. Okay. Who are you bringing, and who do you eat first? Oh. Um, I, I mean, I have to think of who I think would be the most, like, ridiculous. delicious. I'm a vegetarian, oh. but I, I think if I ate Courtney Act, she's so vegan that uh, you cut her open, it would just be, like, cauliflower. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, like quinoa. I want to eat Cameron uh, Michaels. Yeah, I feel like she'd be like she would last a long winter, or you know what oh, I mean, or, like or milk. Milk, yeah, milk, absolutely. That's a lot of real estate. Yeah, yeah. a little too literal, but yeah, it would. And I think, um, I think I would die starving, happy that I was ever on a private jet in the first place. Too. So humble. Yeah. I have a question for you. If you were in a private jet, would you do the Instagram thing where you take a picture and act like it's another day in the job? No, bitch, because people do that. They fake it. They go they on. They fake it. They rent, um, they rent out jets to do that. You can take a picture on a private jet and it's like, just flying to Dubai and no. it's the cost no, of like $75. Send, I'll sit in the back of an Uber and I'll draw clouds in the window. And... <laughs> oh, you got... 
I took Thank a shower on a plane, just like Jennifer Aniston. Emirates? Yeah. Work. I took a shower on a plane, on an airplane. There was a shower, and I took a 20-minute shower. That seems Twice. gratuitous. <laughs> she said, listen, she said, at about 25 minutes, the red light will indicate that you have five minutes left. You would take a half an hour shower on a plane. Wow. That's insane. Normally I did. Normally you have to bring your own water. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, girl? Hello. I, oh, you. I'm Stephanie. Uh, Hi, Stephanie. Love you both from the bottom of my heart. Oh, but I have you. a question for Trixie mm, because I'm okay. a huge fan of your music, and so it's been on my mind for like a year. Oh, wow. What are the two words the two birds never said? Oh. <laughs> Moving parts. It was not on the album Two Birds. Those are the two words that were not on it. <laughs> yes, because I wrote it around that time and decided not to put it on. So those are the two words that were included. Gag, bitch. Thank you. I can sleep at night now. That Thank is you very some much. national, what is it, national treasure? Uh, uh, da Vinci Code. It me, yeah. Thank you. I can Thank sleep you. at night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Uh, Katya. Wait, can I ask you a question? Hold on. Yeah. Is it short for Margaret? No, it's just Maggie. Oh, okay. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Is your mom here? Is your mom here? Yeah, she's I gotta right over there. Give it up for all the mom-daughter combos. Oh, my God. What's up, Maggie? What is one outfit you regretted wearing on both of your seats at the Drag Race? Oh, on, on Drag Race? On oh, drag, drag Race? Oh, God. Okay, yeah. Ugh. I know I'm a monster from hell. None of them. Even, oh. even the floral runway, like, it's too much. I was like, bitch, this is fierce. Like, whatever. I, um, there was a few outfits I absolutely hated on Mom All Stars. I think half of my outfits on each season I hated. You did? What? Yeah, I hated the future of drag. I hated, um... What? The, my finale outfit, I didn't like my, um, and then the two-in-one was not so much of a two-in-one, but I liked the forehead thing. Yeah. I don't know, I, I, if I went back now, I would, um, I would really like to do that just for the fashion, just for the exotic fashion walk. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, uh, your taste develops over time, I guess. Right? I felt great the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Marge. Thank you. <laughs> Just Maggie, wow. Hi, Hi. I'm Haley. Hi. I love you guys so much. Katya, we have the same birthday. Oh, that's the best day of the year. You look good yeah. for your age. Yeah. Thank wow. you. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Ron, keep that. Yeah, keep that. <laughs> I just wanted to ask, there's so many memes throughout um, Drag Race history. What are some of your favorites? What is a meme? <laughs> Don't ask Kennedy. Um, oh, I mean, th uh, oh, well, guess what, Mimi? That is like top of the list to me. Is that, that a whole like, um, huh, oh, oh, yeah. I'm acting. I and that's not that. a meme. That's not a meme, it's a moment. Um, yeah. Oh, so I like, um, I like anytime it's a lipstick and there's something written on it that's like, you know. Oh, I love that one. I love that or one. Or is that one yeah. of you holding Roxy's that yeah. people will put things on? Or like, the, you know, um, the writers of Game of Thrones, yeah. There's that. Yeah. Hello. Hi, moms. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Um, everybody else took my question, so I'm going to ask oh. you, what's your favorite 2000s emo band? The Spice Girls? <laughs> <laughs> we had a moment about Panic at the Disco yesterday, so I was wondering if you remember uh, wait, that. I don't even know what I, an example Is Blink-182 emo? Yeah. Either them or Sum 41. <laughs> Is emo, like, emotional? Is that what it stands for? <laughs> It's like rock music. It's like rock pop. That's very like, um, like uh, ultra, like I don't know, kind of Sad. melodramatic. Melodramatic. Sad. So like, like sensitive boys. Yeah. Okay. Like Green Day. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting. Good morning, distinguished panel of judges. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. My name is Chris, Hello. Um, and I have a question for you, Trixie. Hello. Now that you are a beauty mogul, yeah. are you gonna pull a Rihanna and try to sneak new products into videos of? Mm? Well. <laughs> Well, if you guys know, I just did a song. It came out this week with Todrick called Chapstick. Yes, God. And I am going to RuPaul that makeup into that video so hard every two seconds. Like, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have time for one more, right? Oh. I know. I'm sorry. They gave me the five-minute sign. Hi. Hi. I'm wondering if you're ever going to take Super Bowl Cut on the road. <laughs> yes. And 
Do you need any backup bowl cuts? Yeah! Well, people get very divided on the bowl cuts. How many of you here like the bowl cuts? And how many of you hate the bowl cuts? Listen, controversy is good press. I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it. Yes. Thank you. And I'd just like to add quickly that your bowl cut is off the charts. Bitch. It's fabulous. Thank you. You know I love you, right? Is that it? Is that it? I know, they gave me the five minute sign. I'm trying to be respectful. Do you have a really I'm quick sorry. one? Yeah, I do. Hi, my name's Josh. This has been the best Sunday service ever, by the Yay. way. Um, what's your guys' mission statement for drag? Like, your idea, like, where, how you see it? Just a quick question. Yeah, absolutely. What's your mission statement? Oh, I have a quick one. Be yeah. your own dentist. Got it. Yeah. Well, all the drag queens who get on TV, they all get on TV, and then they're like, I started this to challenge gender. No, bitch, we all started for drink tickets at the club. <laughs> yeah, Thank absolutely. you. That's it, right? All right. Well, thank you all so much for coming. Thank you.